So real quick, I have to ask this. Um, we talked about this just before we got on air, but tell me your story from being a music major to pivoting to what you are now. It's kind of funny as I think back about how life goes, you know, we, we have to live life forward, but we only understand it looking backwards. Mm -hmm. And I was finishing up my master's degree out here in Texas. And uh, my, I got married during the middle of that year and my wife needed to finish up her bachelor's degree back in Alabama the following fall. And so I said, well, I'll have you back in school. I'll finish up and we'll go. And as I started interviewing for teaching jobs in the state of Alabama in 1982, there weren't any openings. <laughs> and if there, even if there were openings, the starting pay in 1982 with a master's degree in music and, and with the extra pay that you get as a band director, which is similar to a coach's stipend, starting pay was $14,000 a year Ooh. anyway. Mm. And you had to have the master's to get that. And I asked, I asked the principal that I was interviewing with, I said, why do you have to have the master's to get the extra $2,000 per year? And he says, because you got to be really smart to live off $14,000. <laughs> but Good answer. I, I, so I, I got into some teaching. Uh, I got into looking around for other jobs. And I was blessed that there was a sales opening with a musical instrument company. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up going to work there the first year. I made 50% more than I would make teaching. And I, I just stayed in the private sector from that, po po that point forward. I always tell people, my children and my wife picked up a couple of pesky habits that made me stay there. They like to eat. They like to live indoors. So I just didn't stay back <laughs> in teaching. So. Awesome. There's an upcoming book, The Lady with the Blue Hair. Can you just tell us about that real quick? Thank you so much for that. Uh, yes, yeah, so the title of the book is Said the Lady with the Blue Hair, and it will fit perfectly well with your last guest that you were just referring to because it's it's primarily a story. The subtitle is seven, uh, seven Rules for Success in Direct Sales Wrapped in a Wonderful Parable for Life, and we're getting some fantastic endorsements for the book. Uh, but it is a story of women mentoring women and the lessons that are taught in there are sales lessons that go across all industries and in, in male and female. I'm getting corporate uh, leaders that are telling me that story works with every single customer, every single client we have. And it, it's just a really well-written story. It's co-written with uh, my uh, friend, Lisa Wilbur. Mm -hmm. She is actually a direct sales legend. Uh, she is uh, one of Avon's top earners and, and organization builders in the history of the company. Wow. She got over 5,000 people in her sales team alone. Wow. That's crazy. And we took lessons basically that she uh, taught her team and then I turned it into the parable in a partnership. But it, it's been a great thing. And if anybody wants information, you can go to saidthelady with the blue hair.com and you'll, you'll see a lot of the endorsements and things like that. We release awesome. it.